Hello YouTube. Today we will make chat server and client. First after opening Lazarus, let's make the interface of our client. Second we can change the form caption to client. Then we will begin adding the component and customize them. Follow the video. Edit 2 will contain the IP addresses label indicate. 127.0.0.1 is the local IP address of our computer. We are going to use it to test the client and server on the same machine. Edit 3 will contain the port as label indicate. We will use a memo component to show the history of the chat. We need to add LNet unit and some variables from this unit for our program to work properly. Here we write the parameter of the protocol we want. Here we write the code for the connect button. In the function connect we add the IP address and the port by referring to them by property of edit 2 and 3. That give us the ability to change them at the runtime. This is the code for the send button, so we can send messages to server. The second line gives us the ability to add the message to the memo component. That way we keep the history of the chat. The third line empty the message box which is edit one for the new message. Selecting the TCP component then its event give us access to receive event. Then we write the code to receive the messages from the server.
we can execute to make sure that our code is good. Now we can program the error in disconnect event to add a message to the memo component if something occurs. Let's execute to make sure that our program contain no mistake before saving. Now let's start new project to build the server side of our program. As we did with the client side we begin by constructing the interface. We add one edit only on the upper side for the port with no IP, so we can listen on all IPs. We need to add LNet unit and some variables from this unit for our program to work properly. Here we write the same parameter we wrote for the client, because our server and client use the same protocol.
Selecting the TCP component then its event give us access to receive event. Then we write the code to receive the messages from the server. Now we can program the error in disconnect event to add a message to the memo component if something occurs. We can see our server work properly. Just don't forget to save it. Let me make the connection smoother by correcting one thing in the client. Just re-execute to update the executable project. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. See you on part 2.